Scott Carter is the newly appointed athletic director at ETSU, and he will soon be taking over those duties from Dr. Richard Sander. But this summer, he has been the man in the hard hat, giving tours of ETSU football's new home to hundreds of fans across the region. Recently, I caught up with Carter to get his impressions of the stadium and the start of this new chapter in ETSU football. We're so thankful with the way this construction process has gone and these wonderful fans that have helped us to, to get this thing up and out of the ground. It's hard to believe November of 2015 is when we broke ground and here we are less than two years later getting ready to kick this thing off on September 2nd. We've got the video board going up here which is a 25 foot by 45 foot screen. Really going to be a great way to engage our fans on game day. Just to have football back on this campus, to have it in an outside venue which a lot of people had, had wanted for many, many, many years. You know, the Dome is a wonderful practice facility and training center and office for us in the athletic department, but it fits in our campus so well. And I think people have really appreciated the, the passion, the energy, the time, the detail. Dr. Sander, Dr. Nolan, all the powers that be that have gone into to, to getting this thing built, get it built timely in the location, the brickwork, the way it connects to campus. There's so many fun features. And what's been nice for me is everybody's been really, really positive about everything. I'm sure somebody's going to find something maybe they don't like, but so far it's been a really, really positive experience for everyone. I'll be honest with you, I've been emotional a couple times, just being a football guy and being here kind of of at the transition time when football was kind of going away. Uh, for it to be back now, to be as healthy as it is with all of these people that care so deeply, uh, to have guys that this past spring graduated out of our program for the first time since 2003, it's special, it's meaningful. And, and to see those letters, to see our colors, to see that E at midfield, um, there's nothing like what it's going to be here on September 2nd, but I mean, I get misty-eyed just thinking about it right now. I mean, everybody asks me where the tailgating, tailgating areas are. It's everywhere. If you've got a season parking pass and you come to campus, have a good time with it. Be respectful of your neighbor. Be respectful of your property and theirs, but have a good time. Being born in the South, it's kind of in our heritage. I mean, I think it's a gene we're kind of born with. Football Saturdays, game day, tailgating. If you don't know how to do it, just pay attention to your neighbors. You'll learn real quick. But our campus is great for that. The beauty of this place to accentuate that in the fall on a Saturday with football in the backdrop, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. The original stadium that was built where the dome was, it had some brickwork, it had some arches, obviously this beautiful arch behind us here on the east side of the facility. It had a horseshoe design that faced to the north. Over there where State of Franklin is now, we have a horseshoe design facing to the north. I think there's some fun elements, some, some new traditions that we're going to try to connect people with. We've got a couple of big boulders that were unearthed when the uh, grading took place in this process. One for our students to connect with as they walk through this main gateway of entry on this side, and one for our team to gather around. So there's a lot of fun elements like that. And I think the proximity of the fans to the field. You know, everything is very, very close. When you come in, you're at concourse level. You don't take any steps away. There are no nosebleeds, upper deck sections. You're on the action. The highest row in our facility is row 17. So I think people, they're going to hear the pads popping. They're going to hear the players getting after. They're going to be literally in that action and feel like they're a part of the game. That's about as good as it gets, in my opinion. And that's the beauty of all this. We get to be the first ones that have done that, from the players to the coaches to the fans, the students, and then welcome back all the alumni that have had this on their mind and on their heart. Come back with open arms. The doors are open with you. We'll be happy to sell you a ticket. We want to make sure they don't miss this, because it's going to be special for everyone.